So by seeing the title of this video, you will be aware that today's topic is interview question. So before starting this video, I have request to like, subscribe and comment on this channel. So you can see there are many subscribers where they have requested us to create a video on interview questions. Uh, you have Ganesh, then Prira Venkates, then they, there are many subscribers who has requested us to create the video on interview questions. And we have not created the video on inter interview question specifically with that title. So there is a reason behind this. The first thing is interview question is a very subjective and vast area and you can't cover in one video all the interview questions second thing if you see all the videos whatever videos we are creating on this channel they cover the interview question in other form like how to select the wire so this particular question can be asked in the interview like this only so anyhow we are covering those interview questions in our videos and let's see that there are few subscriber who has already got benefited by following all those videos you can see here that this one person has got benefited and he got selected in oem and then you have the second person priya venkates she also got selected in one of the company so there are people who are getting benefited by these videos if you are following all these video rigorously then you definitely going to benefited by these videos La now coming to the question why i have not created one video particularly with interview questions so you might be from the automobile engineering electrical engineering mechanical engineering electrical and electronics engineering then you might be from instrumentation so the all from all these engineering branches you can divide into the two series one is hardware and other one is software so in hardware you might come from the mechanical you might come from the electrical and electronics or electrical so what are the things you can do in terms of hardware engineer in automobile engineering so you can go into the wiring harness where you can create the 2d 3d then you can create the wiring diagram so these are the things you can do in the wiring harness then coming to the system engineering system engineering is nothing but where you are selecting the particular component like suppose one example of instrument cluster so you are defining the requirement of instrument cluster or you are defining the requirement of particular switch so this comes under the system engineering then third is the vehicle integrator so vehicle integrator is something where where you are integrating the different parts into the vehicle so one example suppose alternator so from alternator if you are selecting that particular component then you have to take care of many other things like uh, alternator is going to be connected to the engine then there would be a surrounding parts and you have to talk with the cross different cross functional team so that comes into the vehicle integrator then fourth one is the power electronics engineering where you are working on the most fat fat and other stuff then comes to the quality engineer that once your vehicle is made or built then you are coming into the picture of uh, uh, ppap and other stuff that particular vehicle is okay and good to go in the market in this one example like fire safety audit so quality engineer comes into the picture when fire safety audit is happening then sourcing engineering sourcing engineering is nothing but where you are taking the consideration of costing and procurement you are talking to the supplier that how the sourcing of that particular component can be done so these are the things where you can work as a mechanical electrical and electronics and homologation is also one of the part where the mechanical electrical and electronics engineer can, can work then there are few things which comes as a hardware engineer so there are two parts of any component one is hardware and other one is the software so ada system engineer you can't work on the software side of this like where you are you have to do the coding in c or c++ or java so you can't work on that as a mechanical electrical or electronics student but you can work as a hardware engineer on the system ada system engineer infotainment engineer testing and validation you might have heard that hil or sil software in loop or hardware in loop and mil also the model in loop so these particular topics you can work as a hardware engineer if you are from mechanical or electrical or electronics on engineering So now coming to the second part that is the software development in software development also electrical and electronics or instrument students goes where they work as a BMS engineer or software part of ADAS and infotainment they take care as an embedded system engineer. So 
you can see the, or imagine that how big this automobile engineering and the and different branches are fitting to the different role so this particular channel is mostly covering the wiring harness system engineering vehicle integrator then quality and sourcing and sometimes we have discussed about the testing and validation engineering as well hill and sill and mill so in today's video we will discuss about the wiring harness question so what are the bi uh, uh, basic questions which are asked in the wiring harness then we will come to the system engineering vehicle integrator then quality and sourcing engineering so let's start so first thing i would like to mention here these questions are for those who are having the experience from 0 to 4 years of experience these questions are not for the for the experienced person who is having the 10 year experience or more than that because in 10 years of experience their understanding will be different and the question will be asked on the like how to develop the component and what are the type of field issues you are having so that particular area is totally different so those who are having the experience from 0 to 7 or 8 years so these are the basic question which are asked during the interview so let's see so basic question the first basic question what is the wiring harness and why it is used in the vehicle so this is the basic question which can be asked to the person who is having 0 to 1 year of experience so we have already made the video on the wiring harness what is wiring harness where it is used what are the domains it is used what are the names of the wiring harness second question what is the main component of wiring harness then what type of material commonly used in wiring harness then you have the what is the difference between wiring harness and cable assembly then what is the purpose of connectors terminals grommets in the wiring harness how to select the connectors how to select the terminals how to select the grommets what are the things you have to take care during the selection of these components so these are the basic question which are asked during the uh, interview on the wiring harness let's see some more question in the design and development so then sixth question is how do you design of a wiring harness so you have to tell the steps how you start the development of a wiring harness then what type of software tools you are commonly using so we have already discussed that in in wiring harness development if you are working on a wiring diagram then you are using chs juken e3 cabling okay saber all these tools you are using in wiring harness design when you are working on the wiring diagram if you are working on the 3d part then you are using the catia you are using proe then ugnx all these tools are you are working on the 3d area then what are the factors considered when selecting the wire for the harness so how to select the wires this is the simple question which we have answered many time how do you ensure a wiring harness meets safety and quality standards so there are some standards if you are using if you are selecting some wires you are selecting some fuse then there are some standards so like for china we have the gb standard gb by t then you can see here there are general requirement for the low voltage cables 1 to 5 to 8 so these type of standards you have to follow and you should remember those things when you are going for the interview because they will ask you the direct standard they will not ask that the story because you are working on the wiring harness so they will ask you the standards then what are the challenges in designing wiring harness of electric vehicle so those like the challenges in the designing of wiring harness that how you are separating the high voltage harness to the low voltage harness so one example if you take for the ev so you have the high voltage harness and low voltage harness in high voltage harness the bending radius is different compared to the low voltage harness if you see the emi emc requirement they are totally different between low voltage harness and high voltage harness so this is how you have to answer on all these question then coming to the manufacturing and testing what are the steps involved in manufacturing of wiring harness so i have created one video where we have discussed about all the steps involved in the manufacturing but if you want all these videos so i have requested one thing whenever we create one particular video if you are liking that particular video then we come to know okay this content is required to our audience if it is not required we don't create the video on that particular topic so if you like that particular video please like and then only we will come to know 
now coming to the 12th question how do you test the wiring harness for reliability so there are different tests to check the wiring harness reliability then what is the continuity testing or in the wiring and why it is important what is the process of continuity testing how they do fourth how are wiring harness protected from environmental factor like heat vibration and moisture so what he is asking here that what type of protection you use like pvc tape or corrugated tube or the flex wrap so all these things he, here they are asking then what are the common issue encountered during the wiring harness production so what are the issue from the supplier side then installation and maintenance so how is wiring harness installed in the uh, vehicle what is the process of uh, installing the wiring harness in a vehicle so first which particular harness is installed in the vehicle then what is the assembly sequence so those things you should be aware if you are going for the interview then what are the common reasons for the wiring harness failure how do you troubleshoot the wiring harness issue so suppose one issue electrical issue came that headlamp is not working so what is the process of that how you will you will start diagnose that particular problem what are the signs of damage or faulty wiring harness how often should you should a wiring harness be inspected or replaced then standards so what type of in, in industry standards you are using in automotive wiring harness like for wire selection for fuse selection what type of standard you are using what type of compliance with regulatory requirement you are following what is the importance of functional safety iso 2626 in wiring harness design so all these are related to the standards now coming to the some specialized questions so how does wiring harness design differ for the ev compared to ice vehicle so as i told you that we have the high voltage harness in the ev what are the different parameters affect the ev harness ev harness or high voltage harness compared to the low voltage harness then what is the high voltage harness why it is critical in the electrical and hybrid vehicles how do can lin flex ray network relate to the wiring harness what is the data rate for lin flex ray and when we have one more than most network as well so what are the different data rate for all these networks so you should be aware about those then what is the role of the emc in the wiring harness design how do you calculate the voltage drop and current capacity of wiring harness so see these are the some basic question or common question you should be aware when you are going for the wiring harness interview these are not the only question which will be asked during the wiring harness interview because they can ask anything they can ask suppose they are asking about the charging system At, during the charging system they can ask what is the rating of alternator what is the rating of starter motor how to select the alternator so all these question can come so that's why i said that interview question on wiring harness is very vast but these are the 28 question if you want video on these 28 question you please like comment and subscribe if i get the 100 comments in this video to make the video on all these 28 question so we will make one by one or all these video thank you for your time